with you one more time from deadpit.com. Today, we're taking a look at a brand new documentary that has been released from MPI Home Entertainment. For any fans of the old TV show, Dark Shadows, you're gonna love this one. This one is Dark Shadows and Beyond, the Jonathan Frid story. Jonathan Frid, of course, played the character Barnabas Collins on the Dark Shadows TV show and movie. And he is mainly the reason the show survived, from what I understand. So if you're a fan, and odds are if you're a fan of Dark Shadows, you're a fan of Jonathan Frid slash Barnabas Collins. This is the very first time we've had a documentary about his life. So, Jonathan Frid passed away almost 10 years ago. He was a very private person in his personal life. So, not a whole lot was really known about him. So, this was interesting. This one finally dropped, and I was excited to check it out. I've got a little bit of a history with Dark Shadows. I'm not a gigantic fan of the show, but I am a fan of the show. I have a few of the MPI seasons over there in my rack of doom but this um this is nearly a two-hour documentary it runs 102 minutes features a lot of talking heads but you also have a lot of behind the scenes pictures stuff that's never been seen before from fred's stage acting career which is it's mainly what got him the role in dark shadows so he played barnabas collins um in Dark Shadows for, I think it was over something like 600 and some episodes. Dark Shadows was a half hour, five day a week soap opera. Kind of, the, I guess, the first gothic soap opera from the, you know, that started in the 60s. And this documentary kind of talks about his rise to stardom and worldwide fame as his character he was almost like a vampire version of the Beatles. But this documentary talks about a lot more than Dark Shadows, actually. Dark Shadows is just a, a portion of what you get here. Uh, so if you're curious about Fred's life and his career pre and post Dark Shadows, this is one to check out. This is a very interesting documentary. You learn a little bit about the man. Um, he was classmates with Dick Cavett. Oddly enough, they have Dick Cavett in here. They have a lot of his family and friends uh, interviewed in this one as well as some of his co-stars. Talks about how um, Barnabas was never really planned to be a long-term character on the show, but his popularity kind of saved the show. Also some interesting stuff years later after the show ended, Dark Shadows became a sensation in various countries, and it was like a second career for Jonathan Frizz. So this is a fun documentary, guys. I actually really enjoyed this as a fan of the show, and I really didn't know a whole lot about the actor, Jonathan Frid, that uh, played Barnabas. So, in addition to the documentary, which I said is nearly two hours in length, there is some pretty neat special features on this. You have Dark Shadow promos. You have Jonathan Fred reading uh, various plays, Legend of Sleepy Hollow and stuff like that. MPI Entertainment has owned Dark Shadows for as long as I can recall. I remember some MPI VHS tapes of the Dark Shadows uh, episodes as well. So it's been, I don't know, they own it straight out, I'm guessing, because this is Blu-ray. From, from VHS to Blu-ray is quite a long time. This documentary is out now. If you're a fan of Dark Shadows, uh, this would be a high recommendation to check out. Or if you're a fan of just documentaries as well, this was something a little bit different to watch during the Halloween horror season. Um, to show a little bit of Dark Shadows love. Anyone that's ever seen Dark Shadows will know it's a lengthy endeavor to try to get into this show and watch it because there's hundreds and hundreds of episodes that really just span over you know, three or four months. Um, 
to be honest. There's a daily show there for six, seven years, whatever it was. Dark Shadows and Beyond the Jonathan Fred story is out right now. Check it out. Check us out over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. DeadPitOnPatreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. DeadPitOnPatreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.